So about 80% of people with um, COVID infection have a, a respiratory viral illness that's relatively mild. That they do not need to be admitted to hospital. They'll have fever and respiratory symptoms and it will resolve by itself over a period of time. But 20% of people have a much more severe illness and require admission to hospital, usually because of a low oxygen level. Um, and of that 20%, three quarters are treated in the ward. They have the equivalent of a viral pneumonia. Uh, they, re they require oxygen and other supportive treatment and they then improve spontaneously. A quarter of those people admitted um, are very severely affected. And this is usually because the viral pneumonia progresses to a more generalized injury to the lung. And we call this acute lung injury. And it's partly viral damage, but it's also partly the person's immune system responding to the, the virus. And these people require support in the intensive care unit. And, and a number of other complications can occur in that group. Well, we're learning more about the group who survive ICU, but we do know that a percentage of them can have scarring in their lung as a result of the acute lung injury. By analogy with other conditions that do this, such as occasionally pandemic influenza, we know that that scarring can improve a bit with time, although patients are often left with some permanent scars.